When people at birthday parties ask me what's your research about, I often tell them that I build microscopes. Then they ask, oh, electro microscopes, that's interesting. I have to disappoint them and say, no, I just make an optical microscope, but at the same time, I try to make these microscopes sensitive to the movement of electrons. It is nowadays quite common to uh, see single molecules under optical microscopes. What I'm trying to achieve in our lab is to uh, use these molecules as uh, sensors for the electrons that come to their surrounding, as if the electrons and molecules are performing a dance. Sometimes I say jokingly that uh, I want to be the molecules choreographer. So yes, I'm building uh, microscopes. There is a story about Joseph John Thompson who discovered electrons that he raised a toast to the useless electron just after receiving his Nobel Prize for that discovery, assuming that his research will never be uh, useful to normal people. The favorite part of this story for me is actually one of the instruments that uh, Thompson was using in his lab, the cotton ray tube. It was only decades later that millions and millions of people were gazing at this device for several hours a day uh, to watch TV. My internal drive uh, as a physicist is to build a device, a tool, or discover something that one day at least a million people will use it. And I think uh, open science will help me come closer to this dream. My mental sense of safety to dream like this was uh, heavily disrupted uh, in 2018 after reading the special report 1.5 of the IPCC. It was a bit as if you're traveling in a bus and enjoying the scenery of the road and suddenly you realize uh, the driver uh, is paralyzed because of a stroke. I often ask myself why so many knowledgeable people watched us getting so close to the danger zone and did so little. The gap between the knowledge and collective action is still very large, even inside the academic community. At the Young Academy, I want to uh, explore the origin of this gap and try to make this gap smaller. I am convinced that only by working together across disciplines one can avoid the catastrophic consequences of climate change. The Young Academy is for me uh, like a forum to put our minds together and uh, make a plan for action.